Right now, Central Texas teachers are recharging their batteries, hoping restfully, hopefully resting up for another school year. But if history is any indication, some teachers will not be returning to the classroom this fall. Taking an in-depth look at statewide turnover rates for the most recent data available, nearly 41,000 teachers did not return during the 2011-2012 school year. That's about 12.5%. The last peak hit in 2006-2007 with 15.6% of Texas teachers leaving the classroom. That is more than 46,000 teachers. Tonight, KXAN's education reporter Aaron Cargile takes a closer look at why teachers leave, plus a program helping them stick with it. It's been said you should love what you do. A motto, Jennifer Wally. The worst part of the job is wearing these gloves. Is trying to live by. Get to know people's puppies and say, hi, Ruby. The massage therapist turned the clean freak. And sometimes I get to borrow their design ideas for my house. <laughs> is the co-owner of a new business. We came up with made with class. Before this, Jennifer had her own class for five years as a middle school teacher in Maynard. Pretty much the sixth grade on, I, all I ever wanted to to do was teach school. Equipped with a teaching degree from UT, she was ready to change the world. <laughs> Until reality hit. It was just too much to handle, honestly. I was getting there at 6 o'clock in the morning, leaving there at 8 o'clock at night with papers still to grade. I didn't really like being under somebody's thumb. The state mandated testing had a big part to do with that. I had to hit the eject button <laughs> and pursue a different path. So this is your end? Okay, can you read that for me? It's a feeling first year teacher Alba Garza is hoping to avoid. It was always told to us that, you know, first year teachers, we have a big challenge. I was told that the first year was a deal breaker in this career, that it, the first year either makes you a teacher or breaks you as a teacher. Mr. Rodrigo, yes. can you give me the definition of range or what is range? Jorge Ledesma turned to teaching after a 10-year career as an architect. I had a whole different picture of it. Uh, I thought for me it was just you go into a class, you have a bunch of kids, you teach, teach A's and B's and one, two, threes, and that's it. Ms. Dina, can you tell me what range is? He just survived a second year. So this one, they didn't finish the tree. The tree. Both new teachers at Austin's Walnut Creek Elementary have a secret weapon. So we decided if the numbers are increasing, what are operations can we think of? Hilda Diaz. Oh, I still remember how overwhelming it was. With six years of classroom experience under her belt, the fourth grade teacher has taken them under her wing. It it's not fun when you don't have somebody to guide you or somebody to tell you, you know what, don't freak out, everything's going to be fine. She serves as their mentor through a program set up by Delta Kappa Gamma, an Austin-based international educator society committed to strengthening those on the front lines. I feel like my life revolves around her because if I didn't have her, I would be lost. From helping with lesson plans to lending a listening ear. Sometimes we just look at each other and we were like, yes, it's been one of those days. <laughs> Diaz's best advice, keep it simple and prioritize. Because yes, they can go crazy and I don't want them to go crazy. So. <laughs> Three types of fractions that we use to compare. The job might be tough, but full of rewards. Because that response from a certain student that says, oh, I get it, that really does motivate you to keep on going and say, okay, I hit one, now let's hit the second one and the third one and so on. I want to see your work. It is about finding what you love. For Jennifer, because this is it. Community. At the end of the day, I'm much more satisfied.